can't believe I'm saying this, but welcome to Vlogmas Day 1. Yeah! The reason I can't believe I'm saying this because it's actually November 27th. And if you watch my Vlogmas and you've watched it for years, you know that I vlog on the day of the actual day that you are getting. But for days one and two, I have to do it slightly different because I am actually traveling all this week to Indianapolis. So today what we are going to do is a little Christmas house tour. It's in the evening so you can get a sense of what the house looks like at night with the lights on and all the things. You guys are going to help pack with me and I'm going to share the things I'm taking with me and the things that I love when I'm traveling, especially for a long trip. Suitcases I love carry-ons that I take, all of that stuff. You are my people, so I know that you'll like it. Also, how cute is this ring? It's a replica of Jane Austen's ring, and I love it because I love Jane Austen. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where we're at today. Living the dream all day, every day. And what can you expect in Vlogmas this year? We're gonna have fun, we're gonna hang out. We are going to bake, we are going to make some crafts, we are going to do all the things that make us happy because that's what this season is all about. And we are also going to be doing the advent of kindness together, all of the things. And I'm trying to multitask right now. But it is day one! If I'm being completely honest, I didn't know if I'd be doing it this year, and yet here we are. So. Let's make the most of it. Let's do a little decoration tour, even though I have a mess right here and all the things. So, also, how cute is this hat? I found this on Airy. It is a silver hat. It comes with a pom-pom, but it cut right off. Um, this is when you enter our mudroom. I keep it simple every year. This is an old wreath from Target, and then one of my favorite a floral garlands. I just hang over that mirror. I keep that really, really simple. Same with our powder room. I just put some garland around the mirror, have like a little letters to Santa box and a flameless candle. My flameless candles, I'll link, they come from Pottery Barn. You're going to see them all over the house. They are my go-to candles. In the kitchen, I try to keep my countertops more clear. If you guys remember in the past, I've done like garland the whole length of this Long Island. I just wasn't about to do that this year. I wanted it a little bit simpler and more streamlined, and that's exactly what I achieved. But um, over here by the stove, this usually houses the salt crock, and I just switched them out and put a little nutcracker there. This cookie jar is from Pottery Barn. I bought it last year. I've seen a lot of the gingerbread stuff, but not the cookie jar. So, I mean, I don't know if they've discontinued it, but I love that thing. And then up here, these are little gingerbread that I bought at Michael's. That little nutcracker is from the dollar bin at Target. Then over here, I just added some bells coming out of my rolling pin crock. And all of this stayed the same. Those are some oranges I cloved for the Thanksgiving table. Some cinnamon sticks. Enjoying those. And then this is one of my favorites, is this garland I found at Target. I can't remember who made it. It might just be Threshold, but it's like a real, like, real brass, and even the cording is brass. And then I just added one of my teal bows to it. This is the same Our House vase that I keep here all year, and then this year I just added some different winter branches, and then these beautiful twigs that are on a timer. Super simple. I like their twinkle, too. It's like a warm white. Love it packing here and having a Coke Zero. Over here, I found these houses. They're by Mark and Spencer. They did like a line for Target this year and I just thought they were super cute. This one's a music box and this one, if you can see, it lights up. Then, some things have switched out here. I added my Noel pillows. They're perfect for Mabel because this is where she loves to lay during the day. And then, put some bells in this little jar. I just picked up this rosemary tree from Trader Joe's. I just need to get it repotted, but I love a rosemary tree. It should do really well in this window. And then here is just our little sofa table 
and I always do some sort of garland. These lanterns stay all year round. I just particularly love it this year. I think it picks up all the colors, the orange slices of the trees. Look at her. She loves laying on a pillow. This is Mabel's second Vlogmas. I looked back at old videos from last Vlogmas and she was so tiny. And now she's such a grown up woman. She's a woman now who's all grown up. So here is the mantle. I think ugh, seeing it at night being lit up just feels very different. Um, you can see how beautiful it is. It goes all the way to the floor. I have a video where I set it all up. You can check it out, but look at it. And then, yes, seeing it at night is a huge difference. This is the tree with all the last finishing touches of like the ribbon strands. It could not have turned out better. And then these are all fresh greens just to kind of connect these two areas together. And then this is the second tree. I catch myself like finding a mirror and thinking there's like a hole that I need to like cover. But that's the whole vibe here. And then this is all super simple. I didn't really change anything out. I have one of my amber candles burning in this bowl. I just threw some pine cones and bells. There's bobos. This is his, how many vlogmas is this for you? Uh, too many to count. He's oh, doing okay. Then here I just have this old star with one of my flicker candles. These houses, I have tea lights in them. Some bells in there. Just an easy, breezy little setup. This is our entryway. One of my favorite focal points this year was doing this wreath collage. I just love it. To the point where like I'm thinking like, does this just stay there with like more springtime wreaths? Like the boxwood will work year round, but like there's just something about the vibe that just feels really good that I really, really like. The only thing I'm thinking is to get like real, like nice, like black or brass hooks that would actually hold those out a little bit more. Maybe we'll do that during Vlogmas and like really making this a part of the entryway. I just really, really, really like it. Then this is just a directional garland from Grandin Road. They're my favorite garlands. They are linked. And then this is an old deer from Michael's I spray painted, but that's kind of the entryway setup. And then I had this old brass Merry Christmas from Studio McGee, not from the Target line, like their actual store. When I say Studio McGee, most of my stuff is like from their actual store. Like this light fixture is Studio McGee. If it's ever from the Target line, I will let you know. Then this was our dining room set up this year for Thanksgiving. Beautiful, beautiful setup. These trees are all threshold from Target. They're like a very nice ceramic. And then fresh greens, cloves, pears. I have to keep an eye on these pears. They might turn soon and I will need to replace them. But the oranges are holding up really well, as they should for, oh my gosh, they smell. I wish you could smell this. This is when I wish we had smell-o-vision because it smells so, so good. And then over here is a collection of candles right now. These candles just need to be tucked away. This nest one I've had going now for a couple years, I've just not burned through it, but it smells so good. This nutcracker is one of my favorites. It was from Threshold at Target. I just love the color of it, and it just connects so well with these candlesticks in particular. Um, and then this is an old cabinet that we've had that I converted to our bar. It has lights in it, it's a whole vibe. Then I just stuck a branch in there, added little ribbons to our candlesticks. We have advents to open later. These glass ornaments I just put in this bowl. I just thought they were a great touch there. Those are our advents. And then in our pantry, oh, in our pantry I kept it pretty simple. I just played with these ornaments rolling and just adhered them to the shelf. I just love like the topsy-turviness of it and then added these little brass nutcrackers 
and our pantry. I just have a Christmas wreath here. And then at the top of it, some gold trees, some orange slices, and that's our pan. I love this pantry. I'm so proud of myself for making that. So that is our downstairs vibe. There are a couple things that I've like left unattended to. You guys know I always say at the start of Vlogmas, we're not doing the banister, and we end up doing the banister. So let's just be real. It's going to happen. I just don't have the vision yet set for it. This is the bedroom tree. It's so pretty. The housewives are fighting in the background. I have my suitcases out because I do have to really get packing. And I have some wreaths up there as well. So that's a little holiday tour on day one of Vlogmas. This lighting is terrible. Oh, this is awful lighting. We do need to get some packing done. So I'm gonna get on that. And then I'll do a little what's in my bag carry on moment. I always pack two cosmetic cases. Mine are from Amazon because I use them. Uh, but they're my two favorite. This is probably my most favorite. You'll also see a smaller one shortly. This one, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> I'm still battling this cold. This one just has like my toner, my facial cleanser, my little like travel brush, like that kind of stuff. There's some sheet masks on the bottom, Q-tips, nothing super fun in this one. And I will just nest that in on that side of my bag. This one will house a couple more fun things. So this is my medicine. I never check my medicine. It will go in my carry-on with me so that I always have it with me. This is from Etsy. And then you open it up and it has like all the days. This is a cute gift idea for someone you know has to carry medicine. It's just adorable. But I will put in some of my more cosmetic-y types of things. And I take the same things with me everywhere I go. So this is the Miracle Bomb from Jones Road. I love it, I use it everywhere. This is the What The Foundation. I don't use it as a foundation. I use it as a concealer and I bought a really light color. I just, their products just like blend into the skin better. I love a little Lumi Glotion. I use those, love them. Also, this all-over glow tint from Catrice. Beautiful, beautiful, like supernatural, like dewy look. Super goop, bright eye, under eye sunscreen. Always take that with me. Then I also always take the unseen sunscreen. My razor. And then for a little color, I love this Merit. Um, it's called Terracotta. I found it from a recommendation of Jenna Lyons and it just is really good for like people who are very fair and need some color on their skin. And then lastly, I always take this Merit Under Eye. It's in the cream color. It's super light, but blends right in. I just use my finger. I don't take any other things. I have the longest eyelashes, so I always take an eyelash curler because sometimes I have a hard time getting my contacts in because my eyelashes are in the way. So that's essentially what I will take in this bag. I will also throw in Best Serum, this Olay Serum Night Repair. It is better than any high quality serum I buy. It's so good. And then I also take my Retinol Eye Cream. So that is what goes in this bag with me. Um, not with me, but this is what will go in my, like, other cosmetic-y things that I need. And this, too, will just get nestled in here. I really don't have anything left to put in here but a couple pairs of shoes. My workout shoes and then one pair of dress shoes. So I'm going to go grab those and get this bag sealed up and done. What you thinking? You know what this means. You know what this means. Here is the little tiny guy that I was talking about. This one goes in my um, 
like carry on bag. So I always love to take an extra card case just so that I don't have to always carry my wallet with me. I love having that to tuck in, especially in the winter where you can just like slide it into like one of your winter coat pockets. And then my pills will go in. I always just carry a full set of my daily contacts. I'm a daily contact person. I get mine through Hubble, really, really love them. I love this Dreamlit Under Eye Glow Stick from Pacifica. It's just, it's like white, it just goes on. It's really good while you're traveling. A cuticle oil pen, taking that with me. I have my Chanel lip balm. It's my favorite lip balm. I know it's bougie, but I love it. Also, my Chanel hand cream always goes with me everywhere I go. This is probably like third or fourth one this year. I just love it. And then I also love taking this Ginger Flight Therapy. It is ginger root, lavender, and geranium. It's just a pulse point oil. Um, it just, I love having it with me. Then also some Aesop hand sanitizer. That's always in there. And then a little travel size deodorant because you just never know if you need it. A tied to go pen. And then lastly, a file. I mean, having all of that stuff in here just makes me feel incredibly prepared that I have all my essentials right here. All right, friends, it is time to open advent calendars. So we have four advent calendars this Vlogmas. Our big one, our luxurious one is the Liberty. So super excited about this. Danielle got me the Book Lovers Advent. We have this fun one from Rifle Paper Company. And then of course we have our tradition. So let's start off with our Rifle Paper Company. And let me also turn on the dining room light just so it's a little bit brighter. Each part of this snow globe is a week, but here is day one. So day one is a little tree on the sled that he is pulling at the Christmas tree farm. All right, let's go to day one of bookish gifts for readers. I'm very excited about this. Look how cute the setup is. All right, day one is right here. Ah. I will totally use these. They're little gift tags and they're super cute. They have like a rifle paper vibe to them. Amazing. I think this is gonna be a really great advent calendar this year. Let's enjoy the landscape first. It's Santa's workshop. Look at the little Santa in the window and the Mrs. Claus. All right. This one is really not too adventurous. They are straight in order, but let's go ahead. Cue the song. Pour some sugar on me. And our first treat, let's close it up. What is our first one? These are Chocolate covered cookie dough. I might actually throw those in my travel bag and have a little snack. And now this, look how be just like look how beautiful it is. It's so pretty. All right, one is right here. It's a very large, large size. And it says Liberty. And it is Tudor, a perfume. Let's take it out and smell it. It is a really good size. Let me give it a little spritz. I really like it. It's very clean and crisp. I wonder if it gives me any descriptions. Juniper, I was gonna say it has ginger in it. it the top notes are juniper, ginger, and nutmeg. I thought cypress is a mild note, and then sandalwood, iris, and amber. Mm, I really like it. On the dry down, it's really good. I might actually take this with me as my fragrance. I really, really like it. 
I'm also super excited because I heard the quality of the stuff in the Liberty calendar is amazing. It is day one, however, like I said, it's Monday. But when you see day two, we will actually be in Indianapolis. I will have been there all week and we will be traveling back here for Vlogmas day two. But I can't wait, cannot wait to see you then. And I almost forgot. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.